Hi, welcome to this cryptography video series. And in this segment, I'm going to talk about the power of XOR operator. XOR operator is, is a very novel operator uh, used in digital electronics a lot. However, it is also used pretty much everywhere in the cryptographic constructions, especially on the symmetric cryptography side. If you look at block cipher designs, uh, XOR is pretty much um, in every crypto cryptographic system that I am aware of. So what is so interesting about XOR and why XOR is so valuable uh, in cryptography? I'm going to talk about those questions in particular. Okay, so let's quickly recall what XOR is. XOR basically takes two, two arguments, right? Uh, say argument one is zero, argument two is zero. What will be the output? Output will be zero, okay? So let me draw this. This is, these two are inputs and this is output. Um, zero, one, output will be one. Uh, one, zero, output is one. One, one, output will be zero. Okay, that's basically the definition of XR. It's more or less like R, uh, except this last line, okay? When both inputs are one, the output is zero. So this is, this is the XR operator, and people use in, in many textbooks plus with a circle, some people also use uh, this one, okay? Not to be confused with uh, and in, in logic notations, okay? Um, bit, bitwise um, and sometimes that is also used. But anyway, uh, these two are equivalent in this segment at least, okay, XR. XR is basically a binary operator as you have seen, two inputs and one output. The, these two are the inputs. Uh, if you want to call this way, this is input. Um, say, let's call this M and this is, K, what you're seeing on the rightmost is M XR K. Okay, that's basically how XR works. Okay, so why do we need XR in cryptography? What, what problem does it solve? Oftentimes messages are not really uniform, right? We don't really send uh, some senseless messages uh, usually. Um, so messages have structure and they are not necessarily uniformly distributed. Okay, so probability of um, sending a zero may not be equal to the probability of sending one. That's basically what I mean by not uniform, okay? So in that case, uh, if you mix a message with a, with a key, um, we don't want to leak information about the message to the attacker. The attacker should not have um, any capability to predict that the message was zero or one, okay? So the idea is to mix the message with a key, assuming key is uniformly distributed, um, we wanted to see whether the resulting ciphertext is uh, indeed uniform, okay? So it, so it cannot be easy for an attacker to take a ciphertext and, and trace it all the way back to the message and say, oh, this message is most likely zero instead of one, okay? So we want to avoid that happening. That's the power of XR, and I'm going to explain why it's, it is the case. Let, let me call this columns, uh, the last column as C, which is nothing but M, X, R, K, right? Let's reason about the uniform distribution property that I talked about, okay? So consider this scenario. Suppose you're asking yourself a question. What is the probability the ciphertext is, is zero, okay? You have a crypto system like this, right? What is the probability that the ciphertext is zero? We can easily do analysis like this. When will this be zero? It will be zero either here or here, right? So which means uh, probability of M being zero, right? And K being zero or, so I'm going to use this, this V notation. That's basically what R means in logic. M equal to one, right? And K equal to one, okay? This is and in logic. Okay, don't confuse this. This, this is something in programming language Usually this means um, XR, okay? And here this means and, as you can see, it's like capital A and this is R, okay? Anyway, so what is the, the probability of now M being zero and K equal to zero? Usually messages and the keys are independent of each other, so they are independent events. So we can write them as um, PR of, uh, m equal to zero and probability of k being zero, right? Okay, so this is basically independent event. These two are not related, okay? Or we have an R now for the second equation, second part of the previous equation. We can write m equal to one and k equal to 
one. So now we can reason about the probabilities. I mentioned earlier that probability of uh, m being zero and m being one need not be uniform. So we cannot say m has to be, probability of m equal to zero has to be half. We cannot say that because uh, that means we assume all messages are equally likely. That's not necessarily the case. So let's call probability of m being zero to be p. So probability of um, m being zero is p. Okay, what is the probability of m being one then? It must be one minus p because there are only two messages possible in our message space, zero or one. Okay, so let's call this p, all right. So, uh, which means this place we can substitute as by p. And now what about p probability of k being zero? Remember k itself is uniform distribution. Therefore, um, this must be half because our key either can be zero or one, okay. <clears throat> Um, R means uh, plus in probability. And uh, what is the probability being M1, which is one minus P, because the message can be either zero or one. Uh, therefore, probability of M equal to one is one minus probability of M equal to zero, which is, which is P, therefore it's one minus P. And what about this one? This is again half because of uniform distribution. Now, if you just uh, expand this and, and apply distributive property, you will get the answer to be half, okay? which is nice because what we are showing here is that we can um, conclude that the probability of ciphertext being zero is half, even though uh, our message itself is not necessarily uniformly distributed, right? We have, we have not put uh, P to be half necessarily. P can be anything between uh, zero and one inclusive, uh, but still the ciphertext turned out to be half. Now, if you do the same by replacing zero by one, you will still get half, okay? Which tells us that XR actually transforms uh, your non-uniform input message space into an output which is uniform. Okay, that's basically the power of XR. XR is is essentially used to make the uh, the the output space uniform. Okay, that's that's all. I hope you find this informative and useful. Thank you.